Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans and today I want to show you a feature in the TriCaster called DSK Follow Background. So normally when bringing on a DSK or downstream keyer you can use a trajectory or other transition to bring it on and off screen like this, but let's say you want to switch to another shot and have that lower third already there like this. Well, using DSK Follow Background is the way to do it. So let me show you how it's done. All right, so here we are in the TriCaster TC1 interface, and this video today is going to piggyback on the topic that I covered last week, which is DSK delegation, so be sure to check that one out as well. So just to review real quick, what I can do is I have my downstream keyers that I can bring on and off screen simply by clicking on their transitions here, uh, but then I can also delegate those together. So I'm going to click on my DSK number one here and DSK number two. And check this out, I have background is not highlighted. So now if I hit auto, you'll see that I have my uh, downstream key number one and two will come on screen on my program row with the uh, transitions that I have assigned to them. So check it out. I'll do that and there they are. And if I click on that, they go off in their separate directions. Okay. Now, so what I want to do is I want to have those particular shots come in when I have my uh, preview row brought to program. So to do that now, what I'll do is click on background. So now you'll see that I have background, which is going to be my, uh, my shot that's in my preview row. Also my downstream keyers as well here. Okay, now there's a few little things I want to show you here. So check this out. So now I'm going to hit auto and that's going to transition to my preview row and then also bring on the animations of my downstream keyer number one and two. So you'll see some movement in there as well. So check this out. I'll do that, and then they came on in their own little trajectory. Now let's say that I want to do that again, but I only want to have them, I, I, well, I just want them to come on screen, they're already there. So when I do the transition, there's no animation on my downstream keyers, it's just going to show the lower third already there, okay? So to do that, we'll go to all the downstream keyers that we want to use, and I'm going to focus on downstream keyer number one and two here and we'll click on our transition. So you'll see that these are the different settings for the transitions available to you. But then beneath that, there is an option here that says transition with background. So we'll go ahead and click on that for downstream keyer number one. And let's do the same thing for downstream keyer number two. Okay. So cool. So now what's going to happen is when I do my transition over to my preview, it's going to already have the downstream keyer number one and two already in their position. They're not going to come in with movement. They're just already there. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on auto here and check it out. Boom. They're already there. Now they're independent of each other. So now if I want, I can get rid of that live icon that I had in my DSK one uh, and then have this one go away independently as well. So let's go ahead and mix and match that a little bit. So uh, let's go ahead and bring this all back to normal here. So we'll go ahead and bring me the program and now she is on my preview. So now what I want to do is I'm going to have that live bug is going to come on with its own individual animation, but my downstream keyer number two here, that's going to just come with the background. So that one will already be there. So now when I do this transition, you'll see that I'm going to uh, fade over to her or twirl over to her, I should say. Uh, and then I'm going to have that Tuesday tutorial a lower third show up, but then that live icon is going to come in with its own animation. All right. So let's go ahead and do that and click on auto here and check it out. Whoosh. There we go. So different ways of you to be able to uh, coordinate this, bring them on and off screen, however you want, play around with it. And you can also do the same method with the control service delegation tools as well. So as you can see, a nice way to manage your downstream keyers. Now, if you'd like to know more about new tech products, please contact your local reseller or visit newtech.com. You can also find more new tech tutorials like this one on our YouTube page at youtube.com slash new tech inc. And for even more information on new tech products, visit newtech.tv where we will be showcasing upcoming new tech products, features, and special guests. Until then, thank you for watching and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.